guys, it's happening. What is up? It's Cassie's books and I am so excited for this vlog. Guess what's happening? Guess what I got? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Take it in. Take it in. What's happening? So excited. I finally got the house. Finally, like I've been waiting. Oh, I've been waiting for the pre-order, obviously. Not that I've been waiting that long. <laughs> I've got the House of Sky and Breath, the second novel. Oh my gosh, take it in. So beautiful. I actually got it yesterday, but I was unable to start reading it yesterday. I wanted to read it last night. Okay, I want to start reading last night, but I was not able to, sadly. So I'm going to start reading it today with you guys. And I'm so excited. I am so excited. It is so beautiful. It is, let me tell you, 801 pages, which I love because the last one was $7.99. It's almost exactly the same. I'm so excited to continue my love affair of Bryce and Hunt. I am excited to dive back in this world and meet up with my lovable characters again. So come on this journey with me and yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun day. I got my tea and I am ready to read this book now. I had talked to you guys earlier and right before I started, right before I went to go read, my daughter woke up and I've been hanging out with her ever since. So she finally went back, uh, she finally went down for bed tonight. So I'm going to start reading this book and I am so excited. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. second since I chatted with you guys. I just made some hot chocolate which I'm super happy about. It's absolutely delicious. It's very cold today. I, I We are getting a snowstorm today so I am really trying to be cozy. I am very relaxed today. I <laughs> like this like t-shirt thing and I am just kind of living my life. I want to give you a little update. My daughter is sleeping right now so it is our time to shine and chat and she should probably she probably has like at least another half hour in her Maybe. We'll see. She's kind of at that age right now where that second nap is starting to disappear. So it's hit or miss, guys. We'll see what happens. But update. I read more of this and I am on page 123 now. So I'm not like that far in. I think this is like maybe like 10%, like maybe 15% in. I am absolutely obsessed already. In the beginning, we are introduced to some new characters. And that's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna like ruin it for anybody who hasn't read it. But we're introduced to some new characters and then we kind of meet back up with uh Bryce and Hunt and they did uh Sarah did such a good job like kind of like recapping everything and like catching us up with them. And now right now I'm reading parts with um I'm gonna say his name wrong. Therian. If you guys remember, Therian is the like mer, mer person, merman, <laughs> um, from the first book. So we're kind of like getting more of his point of view, which I love. I love like multiple point of views. It makes the book so much more interesting. So I'm kind of reading about like his point of view about like this mystery that's happening right now and thoroughly enjoying it. I am hoping to read 
at least another 100 pages tonight. I mean, that's pretty, it's a big thing. I mean, we'll see how far I get. Hey everyone, it is a new day. I was going back and looking at my footage, I was like uploading it and then I realized that I, my camera cut off yesterday when I was actually doing the reading portion, not just like the talking portion. So you missed my beautiful uh, B-roll or whatever of me reading. So, oh well, here we are. I am on page 135. It's going to take me a century. You guys can expect this to take me like two weeks at this point. I have no idea. No, I'm hoping to finish it hopefully maybe this weekend. Probably not. I have some plans this weekend, but um, we'll see what I get done. I am absolutely loving it right now. I am uh, having a thing up right now on my Instagram to see if I'm going to make this like a spoiler free or spoiler video. So right now we're doing spoiler free, but I may include like a section. Oops, almost dropped my book. I may include a section at the end of like me talking about like certain scenes. So maybe I'll get to like do the whole vlog or whatever. And then at the very end, I'll be like, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. And then just the ending will be like spoilers. Cause you know, I gotta talk about my feelings. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, you guys get to see my lovely face, read some more of this now, and hopefully I can get through some before my daughter wakes up. my beautiful people it is saturday now and i've literally got no reading done little life update me and my husband went on a date night last night and i didn't really get any reading done because of it we went and saw uncharted by tom holland which was like a really cute movie it was like a little cheesy but um it was good it was like a treasure hunting type of thing going on so i enjoyed it it was fun to get out it was cute but i don't know if i would like go see it again but I did see a commercial for, um, or trailer, whatever, not a commercial. I saw a trailer for Marry Me, which I didn't know was already out, guys. I'm, like, living under a rock, apparently. But it has, like, Jennifer Lopez and uh, Owen Wilson in it. And that movie looked super cute and romantic. I will probably won't see it in theaters, but I 100% want to rent it when it comes out. Because it looked so cute. Like, like the perfect, like romance a movie to have on in the background so i'm hoping to watch that eventually but yeah reading update i basically am not through this book i was hoping to be way more into it not like into the book i'm super into it i mean i'm I was hoping to be way more like done reading this because i was wanting to get it done by sunday that was my personal goal i'm only on page 160. i'm gonna be reading this for the rest of the month i just have been so busy with everything but I am going to make time for it. I'm going to read this right now. I have my iced coffee. My daughter is sleeping. So we'll see how much reading I can get done. Um, I don't have like a lot of plans for today. We were going to go up north. But unfortunately we're getting like a bunch of snow. And it's like even worse snow up there. So we're like eh, it's not worth the risk. You know like driving in it and all that. So I kind of like postponed that. Which kind of like mm kind of sucks but you know gotta be safe you know especially because we have a baby now we're not gonna like drive in like a blizzard if we don't have to so we're gonna be staying at home this weekend chilling I kind of want to go shopping for a new rug for my floor in here um I don't have a rug now and I really want one so I might like we might go shopping around for a rug if we do I'll make sure to take you with us but yeah just kind of like chilling and reading and hanging out at home this week. So hopefully I can get some of this book read today. I will make sure to update you guys and let you know how I do. Oh, and I did a little thingy on Instagram. I can like insert a pic of the results, but I had said like, do you guys want a spoiler free or spoiler vlog? And like it was like 67% I think unless it changed wanted spoiler free so I'm gonna do spoiler free vlog for you guys but let's get reading we lose track of time
give you guys an update. I am a good chunk of way through the book since we last talked. I'm on page 560. I and am absolutely obsessed. I I feel like all of Sarah J. Mass's books, like, they're really good in the beginning, but like by the end, you're like, I have to finish this now. I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. And that is like exactly where I'm at. I have to know what's gonna happen. I was literally up last night. Um, I woke up at like 5.30 and I was like just thinking about this one scene. No spoilers. But I was thinking about this one scene and it is so freaky to me and very like dark and spooky. And oh my gosh, guys, I've just been like thinking about it. And I don't know if anybody else is thinking about it but it's like so good and I am loving it. I love that we get to like see all the characters point of view and we're really like diving deep into like more of this like political rebellion background and Bryce is sneaky guys like oh my goodness I love her she's amazing character. I love Hunt. I love them. I love all their banter. It's so cute. Yes I just obsessed with this book. I am planning on finishing it today. So wish me luck. I have, let's try to do math, like 300 pages or so left, 350. So we'll see how much I can get done today. But yeah, I wanted to give you a little reading update and kind of catch you up to where I'm at. And then I will update you guys when I've read more. It is 7.30 at night. I just finished this book and I have so many freaky feelings. <sighs> Sarah J. Mass, unsurprisingly, ended this on a huge cliffhanger. I am still in shock over the ending. I don't even know what to think anymore. I don't know what's happening. I just, I don't even know. I'm just like reeling from the end, guys. Oh my goodness. It was so good. I absolutely love this book. I, I am just like, oh my gosh. I don't even know. I just have so many feelings right now. The ending was so unexpected and glorious and I loved every minute of it. If you haven't read the book yet, read the book. Oh, oh my gosh. I just don't even know, I don't even have words. The, she did such a fantastic job building this world and like it really sets it up in the first book. But in the second book, you get to like be with all your favorite characters again. You get to hear more from like different side characters. There's a lot of interesting things happening, lots of like open ends that are not closed yet, which I was hoping would be closed. But yes, there is just a lot going on. This is like a huge feat that she made. Like this whole series is just a huge, huge thing with all these characters and this like political intrigue. And there is just so much going on. I absolutely adore it. I am in love with Bryce and Hunt. I just am still so shocked over this ending, guys. I am, I am just in love. I am in love and heartbroken. I looked it up. I don't see anything about when the third book is coming out. If I have to wait until next year, I will die. Like, what do people say? This is my villain origin story. If I do not get the third book by at least the end of the year, I'm gonna freak out. Like, I need to know what happens. This is why you should wait to read a series, I feel like, until all the books are out. It's just so good. It's just, I can't even say that enough. It is so, like, it's so, so, so good. 
this is definitely my month of Sarah J Mass. I just finished this. I can't even fathom starting to read something today. So I'll probably start um, the Throne of Glass series tomorrow. But oh, guys, like read the book. Just read the book. It is so, so good. I absolutely loved it. Oh, I feel like I just want to reread it again, just like right now, just to get all the feelings again. Oh, the ending was so good. It was so good and so unexpected. I loved every minute of it. That's all I have to say. Read the book. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. It was spoiler free as requested. I enjoyed doing this so much and I can literally, like I said, how many other times? I just love this book and I cannot wait until the third book comes out. But yes, follow me over at Cassie's Books on Instagram and TikTok and make sure you like and subscribe. I post something every Tuesday and Friday. So I will be seeing you guys on Friday.